Hi, I'm Will Knopfsinger with Denison Yachting out of the Miami Beach Marina office. I'm here aboard Scissor Tail, a 64 2009 Pershing. I want to show you a couple of critical highlights that make this boat truly unique and something I absolutely love. The first of those is that the inside becomes out. And what I mean by that is this entire aft door slides over and drops down hydraulically so the interior space and outdoor space flow together nicely. The second feature I'd like to point out covers Pershing in general. Their fit and finish is second to none, whether it's the quality of the millwork or the quality of the cushions, it's all top notch. She received a full paint job to her exterior in metallic pearl white. She also received all new cushions in a carbon fiber fabric and just completed her 1000 hour engine service. We're gonna to start today's tour here on Scissor Tail on the transom. First thing you'll notice is the teak sole underfoot. The primary feature on this 64 Pershing is the garage. It's very rare to have one on a boat this size, and this vessel does include a Williams jet tender. It's just not included in this video. Center line on the platform, we have a hydraulically actuated swim ladder that gets you in and out of the water easily. We also have our passerelle that pulls out so you can have easy boarding and less than easy docking situations. Four steps up from the swim platform brings us to the cockpit. Here at Centerline we have a large sun pad that features the carbon fiber fabric for cushions we discussed before. Beneath this sun pad on either side are access points to your garage. Flanking the sun pad to starboard, we have access to a winch for helping us dock. Keeping to port in the cockpit and moving forward, we'll come to a grilling station and a wet bar. Adjacent to the grilling station and wet bar, we have a teak table with L-shaped seating. Under this L-shaped seating is access to the crew quarters. It's a little bit difficult to shoot this with a video, so we're gonna skip it for today. Directly overhead, we have a retractable fiberglass awning providing extra sunlight on nice days. To finish out the cockpit, we have access to our engine room, which can be found underfoot centerline. This 64 Pershing is powered by Man Diesels coming in at 1,550 horsepower apiece. She carries just 550 hours and runs off surface drives. Capable of reaching a speed of 44 knots and cruises easily at 35. The entire engine room received a paint job as well as all new sound dampening insulation. There are walk-arounds to port and starboard granting us access to the bow. Here on the foredeck, we have a centerline sun pad, an escape hatch, and all the way forward our ground tackle. That wraps up our exterior portion of this tour. We're gonna to step inside and show you what the interior looks like. We enter the salon through this large sliding glass door you see behind me. This door is truly unique because in this position, it and the window both drop down so the entire space becomes wide open for entertaining. To starboard, we have a U-shaped sectional. This comfortable lounge wraps around a high-low coffee table and faces a pop-up TV adjacent to port. Below the pop-up TV, we have custom stemware storage as well as a mini fridge. Just beyond the mini fridge is additional custom flatware storage. Continuing forward into port, we have an L-shaped lounge. Just below the lounge seating, we have an ice maker. One of the pinnacle features here on this boat is the sunroof overhead and the window that drops down on the side to completely open this up. Stepping down four steps, we reach the galley. This galley may look small, but it's got all the storage and all the equipment you're gonna need to prepare a gourmet meal. This galley features a stand-up Bosch refrigerator and freezer, glass countertops, a Bosch four burner stove, Bosch microwave, and a designer stainless steel sink. Overhead is cabinet storage. 
Stepping back up the stairs from the galley, we reach the helm. The first thing you'll notice about this helm is the absolutely gorgeous leather dash. It's somewhere between brown and auburn in color. This beautiful leather wraps all the way around the dash and covers everything, including these hand-stitched chairs and this hand-stitched steering wheel. We're gonna take a moment and break down all the equipment here at the helm, and we'll start with the FLIR night vision. The centerpiece of this helm is the Garmin GPS Map 5215. It's a 15 inch screen that covers all of our navigation, depth finding, and our radar. Flanking our GPS, we have two SIMRAD displays, this one being our autopilot. And below both of these are our manned engine displays. Just to the right of our throttles, we have all of our switches. And just beyond that, we have our SIMRAD VHF. Rounding out the helm, we have our flap controls, trim controls, and thruster controls. Leaving the helm and stepping down a flight of stairs takes us to the three stateroom accommodations. Located all the way aft, we have a full beam master configuration. Centerline is a king size berth. Adjacent to port and starboard, we have large windows for natural light. To starboard, we have storage and a pop-up vanity. To port, we have lounge-style seating that leads us aft into the master ensuite head. Just forward of this seating, we have a closet and a mini fridge. Stepping back up into the foyer, we come to our guest stateroom accommodations. All the way to starboard, we have a side-by-side -side berth with a Jack and Jill style head. This guest stateroom ensuite also doubles as the day head for the vessel. All the way forward is our VIP, which features a centerline queen and an ensuite head. The entire lineup of Pershing yachts features sexy lines and sleek looks. They're all built for speed and guaranteed to turn heads, and the 64 is no exception. On behalf of myself and Team Denison Yachting, I'd like to thank you for stepping aboard this Pershing 64 with me. If you'd like to find out more information, you can contact me anytime, and you can always reach me online at Yachtslinger. Slinger.